The following video shows how to use the Kitagawa gas detector tube system. Be sure to read the instruction manual for the sampling pump, as well as the instruction manual that comes with each box of detector tubes prior to use. There are two parts to the Kitagawa gas detector tube system, the detector tubes and the sampling pump. You can find detailed information for the Kitagawa sampling pump and the many kinds of gas detector tubes on our website. We're going to measure carbon dioxide in the air using detector tube number 126SF. Start with a sealed unbroken detector tube. Open the cap to the detector tube tip cutter. Hold the lower portion of the detector tube and insert the tip of the detector tube into the tip cutter. Rotate the detector tube to score the glass. Then pull the detector tube towards you to break off the end of the tube. Repeat the procedure with the other end of the detector tube. After cutting both ends of the detector tube, close the cap to the tip cutter. Insert the detector tube into the pump's sample inlet. With the arrow pointing toward the pump. The arrow indicates the direction of the sample gas flow. Push the pump handle to confirm it is pushed in completely. Align the red line on the pump handle with the red line on the pump body. We are now ready to begin sampling. Pull the pump handle straight out. It will automatically lock when it is fully extended. A sample is now being drawn through the detector tube. The sampling time varies for each detector tube model. You can find the sampling time for each tube on the tube's instruction manual. A sample finish indicator is located in the head of the pump. It pops out when the sampling is completed. Here you can see the position of the sample finish indicator during sampling and when the sampling is completed. After the sampling is completed, turn the handle 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise to unlock the handle. Confirm that the handle remains fully extended. Remove the detector tube from the pump. Read the maximum end of the stain against the printed scale on the detector tube. For tube 126SF, the color changes from pink to yellow. If the end of the stain is between graduation marks, estimate the concentration. The concentration of carbon dioxide in this sample is approximately 500 ppm. Push the pump handle back into the pump so it is ready for your next measurement. This detector tube is so sensitive that it can detect carbon dioxide from your breath. That's all there is to using the Kitagawa gas detector tube system. As you can see, it is easily operated with a minimum of training. With the Kitagawa gas detector tube system, an accurate measurement of gas concentration is possible without the need for expensive instruments or equipment. Remember, be sure to read the instruction manual for the sampling pump and each detector tube prior to use in order to assure proper operation.